Hello everyone, welcome. This is step number five, and in this step, we are going to talk about the source and maybe the text editor you are going to use for coding. The first one, which is Sublime Text. This Sublime Text is a powerful code editor or maybe text editor. You can use it for uh, coding, and uh, this is has a version which is free and has a version which is paid. So you can download uh, Sublime for uh, Windows. We're going here, and uh, it has a lot of features and has a lot of packages and support uh, any uh, support any language. Start f uh, starting from HTML, CSS, and uh, JavaScript, Python, and it has a lot of uh, tools packages you can install for it. So uh, the second the next one which is brackets. Dot io. So this brackets is also a free modern open source. As you can see, it can uh, it's uh, originally uh, handled handled by Adobe. So uh, this is modern uh, source uh, code editor and it's text editor that understand web design. So it's uh, popular between web designers and uh, this uh, source. Uh, this uh, I mean this text editor is free and uh, it has uh, this uh, function which is uh, very powerful uh, which is uh, get real time connection to your web browser uh, this is uh, i think uh, the most powerful the most powerful function and uh, uh, it has the support for sas and ls and it has also popular extensions as you can see it has emit extension beautify and a get extension so this is the second source text editor. The uh, third one, which is Notepad++. So Notepad++ is completely free, and you can use it uh, in any uh, in any uh, in any operating system. You can use it in Mac, Windows, and Linux. I think all uh, this includes. Uh, this is also in, in all. Uh, is you can use Sublime and the brackets in any system. As you can see, it has uh, other downloads, and you can download uh, the brackets from here. So uh, also, it has a lot of versions, and as you can see, it's uh, by default has this theme, which is the white theme. And as you can see, uh, it uh, has also some support supporting for for other themes. So if you if we gone uh, to uh, brackets, it has this. Supporting for Debian system, I think, maybe for uh, for Windows, and it has for a DMG which is Mac, and also for I think this uh, zip folder for using in, in Linux, I think. So we have uh, discussed three text editors. We have also the Atom, which is very uh, powerful text editor, which is also a free and handled by uh, by github so github for atom text editor is at uh, the so uh, what uh, important about atom it uh, uh, has a lot of versions for windows and mac or any operating system also as you can see it has uh, for other platform and the tagline for it's it hackable text editor for the 21 century so uh, it has a lot of also extensions it has a lot of packages you can download and uh, it has a lot of uh, packages supporting uh, java python and any programming languages and also uh, it's uh, free so uh, the third or the number five text editor which is so we have an integrated uh, dev uh, integrated uh, environment IDE integrated development environment which is not being so it uh, isn't text editor it is in completed uh, integrated development environment which is uh, using for building HTML5 JavaScript or any web applications and it's free also and uh, open uh, source so uh, also we have we have finally the visual code. So uh, the Microsoft has made Visual Studio Code code editing redefined, and uh, this is also free. 
and it can be included in Windows, Mac, and Linux. Uh, what uh, make it popular between uh, the some developers is, is that it has some extensions uh, get commands built in, and uh, it has a lot of extensions, as you can see, uh, download for Windows. So it uh, will go and download automatically in this page. So uh, it has a lot of uh, packages for supporting C++ and Python C Sharp, uh, Java, and as you can see. Uh, but uh, what it make it uh, popular uh, because it has uh, the built-in uh, functions uh, like Git or uh, has some powerful debugging tools like Visual Studio. So uh, that was uh, six uh, text editors you can use for coding or building any uh, application. Uh, I think this video was uh, helpful. Uh, see you in uh, next uh, tip.